I think everyone would have heard about the term agent, AI agent. But most of them use that without any knowledge of what exactly an agent is. So what we can think of AI agent is, let's say we have a human assistant who is multitasking, right? He knows a lot of tasks, but at the same time, he requires tools to get those jobs done. If you want him to drive you to a hospital, you need to give him a car. If you want him to fix some plumbing or some carpet, you need to give him a hammer. That's in the case of AI agents as well. An AI agent at its core is a large language model like GPT or Claude or Gemini. They will interact with the user with the help of prompts as well. But these prompts, it's not that we just dump an entire prompt into the AI and ask it to do this. We structure that into, you know, a persona. First of all, we give it a name. You are a security researcher. You are a marketing researcher. You are a biology expert. Something like that. We give it a persona so that it adapts to its training data where it say, okay, I am a marketing expert now, so I'll do everything marketing. And then we further break down the prompt into instructions where we say that, okay, this is the first job you have to do. And then we start breaking down the edge cases. In this case, you need to do this. In this case, you need to do this. And we start giving a lot of examples, etc., etc. So that is about prompting, but prompting is not the only thing with AI agents, as I talked about, we need to give it tools. LLMs in general, they do not have access to anything. They do not have access to web, they do not have access to data stores, etc. So they do not have access to anything. All of that you need to give it as a context. But that's not feasible because we can run into something called as context length issue. For example, GPT has 128k token length. That means around 128k words is around, you know, some 500 pages of words. But not all the times that we can, we can suffice with that, right? We need a lot more context. How do we get this? We get that using tools. We use a tool called, like, let's say, web search tool. We give the access to the LLM to access the web. So it can get data from the web. It can do a whole bunch of things. We give it access to a calculator where it can perform mathematical operations. We give it access to our calendar so that it can schedule our day, send out emails. All this can be done with the help of custom tools. That's the main part. And this is a very important attack vector, which I'm going to talk about later. Second is the memory. You might have observed when you talk to ChatGPT, after a long conversation, even if you say something like, do the same, or as I talked about this previously, do this, where you're referring to something which was mentioned previously. But you, you might observe that the AI catches that properly and gets your job done. That happens because of the memory. Like generally, LLMs don't have that. Once you give in an input, it gives an output done. The conversation is done. You need to give the context again so that it doesn't remember. But with this memory, it stores the semantic meaning of all the conversation that has happened till now and based on how you point it to that it gets the job so even this is a very important attack surface for us which i'm going to talk about in the bootcamp and briefly here as well